Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and the following is a paid review for David Nagy. G'day, David! How are you? And uh, I'll read the, uh, the email here. Here we go, fuckers. Here we go. He goes, uh, Hi, Archie. I need some advice. And as an international YouTube celebrity, perhaps you can help. I'm a 45-year-old director of IT. I'm also of Polish descent, such as yourself. I've done very well over the years, pulling in six figures annually. I have a BMW 3 Series, and life is good. But you are correct that IT is a young man's game, fuckers. Am I fuck dead? If so, can you recommend a new career before I become a nasty old bastard? Okay, I think I might just, uh, we might just look at that firstly, instead of, we'll look at his watch collection in a minute. So let, let's talk about this. Okay. Can I recommend a new career for a 45 year old IT director? Well, my, I, I think you, you re realistically, if you're sucking on the teat as a director, an IT director, director of IT, stay there as long as you can. That's the best advice I can give you. Stay there for as long as you can. Because that's, uh, hey, it's a fucking gig. It's a gig and, uh, why not give that fucker a go? But, uh, what else would you, I be doing? Well, if you're, look, if you made it to a high level, it, it ain't that bad. But, uh, you got to try and get into your own business, really. Try and see what can you do yourself. You might want to try a, um, you know, Google AdWords if you're good at programming. If you're good at, uh, you know, there's many things you can do there. You got to be prepared. Be prepared because they want young, nasty fuckers in there. Once you get into a certain stage, it's all over, David. It's all fucking over. IT is a young man's game. That's what it is. IT is a young man's game. It's not for us middle-aged guys there, fuckers. So what would I suggest? Well, man, just look at what you can do. Maybe the secret is, instead of spending more, spend less. You know, you can either earn more or you can spend less. That's the only way you can budget the fucking household needs. So I'd probably be looking at, um, I, I would be looking at, uh, you know, anything you can think of and, uh, you know, just, just, just try and work it out there. What, what other things can an IT person do? It's funny. I, I was, uh, I was with a, uh, I was with a, uh, I don't know how to say this story here. I was with someone today and they were telling me about a bad incident with a service provider. They'd gone to see a provider, 140 for 45 minutes of uh, body slide, uh, titty fuck and uh, BJ and a HJ. And halfway through the body slide, she starts spruiking Vitamin tablets! Vitamin tablets! And uh, that's a bad way to go about things. You don't want to be recommending these MLM things to people at work. Because you will get the sack and I'm not going to return... Oops, sorry. My friend's not going to return as a punter. He's not going to return because the bang per buck wasn't terribly great. He's not paying $140 for 50 for 45 minutes to talk about business opportunities, if you know what I mean. But um, I think the answer is, fuck, is you got to be flexible, you got to be versatile, you got to be ready to seize the opportunity. And instead of getting the big house, sending the kids to private schools, fuck them. Send them to a state school, lower your expenses, get ready, because we're coming in for a very hard landing the economy is fucked the economy is fucked and uh, I, I would be looking at things you can do there what can you do you know you got to be prepared be prepared because 
The shit is getting nasty, and uh, particularly with Beamers. I mean, you've got a 3 Series, so much plastics in them. Click on the link here to see what BMW ownership is like. It's shit. Too many plastic parts. They don't even have an, a dipstick for the oil in these new Beamers. So, I would be reducing... My advice to you is your 45 year old IT director, get rid of personal debt, personal loans, credit cards, pay down, instead of upsizing the house, just stay where you are. Do you need to really lease another Beamer? What about, you know, going for something cheaper? You know, just be ready. We're headed for hard economic times. So my advice is, Put your feelers out there. What do you like to do? What can you make a buck in? And the best thing to do is don't jump head first in. Start something on the side. Start something on the side and see if you still like it. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. Tell me what you nasty, miserable, foul mouth, cheap, nasty fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Interesting story about the rub and tug place.